Hello everyone, Batch 2023-24. Uh, we have started with the syllabus of ICSC starting from chapter 1. In our previous video, we had discussed mitosis. In this video, we will be talking about cell cycle, meiosis and we will talk about the difference between mitosis and meiosis. Again, we will stick to what is there in our course. Let's start. First is cell cycle. Now, as I use the term cell cycle, that is the whole phase. Matlab, a cell is always in a cell cycle. It can be in a resting stage, it can be in a dividing stage, but it follows the cell cycle. Let's see how. We have done mitosis. This is the M phase, which, which we've already done, the process cell division and meiosis, which we are going to talk about, depending upon the type of cell in which the division is taking place. So M phase, after the result, as we did in the previous video, that the two daughter cells are formed here. Fine. So, as per the result, these two daughter cells either will enter the resting phase, will stay there or will start with the process of next cell division interface or the process of preparation of the cell for cell cycle, cell division starts. This G1 phase, S phase and G2 phase are the phases in which the cell has to move or you can say has to undergo these changes and then only it can undergo the process of cell division. Now what happens? The cell moves to the G1 phase. It is the longest phase. In G1 phase, the RNAs and proteins, more of RNAs or proteins are manufactured or produced inside the cell. After that, the cell will enter S phase, which we call as G1 is growth one phase. Then we is S phase, which is synthetic phase or synthesis phase. Herein, synthesis of more amount of DNA and duplication of chromosomes take place. After that, it enters G2 phase, which is growth two phase. In growth two phase, more amount of RNAs and proteins are formed. And finally, now the cell is ready to enter in the process of or start the process of cell division or you can say all these stages are preparations for the cell to enter inside any type of cell division again you have to learn the sequence in which sequence it takes place sabse pehle m phase cells are formed then g1 s and g2 phase g1 is the longest phase then is the synthesis and g2 is the smallest phase in g1 phase rnas and proteins are formed in, g in s phase dna is synthesized and uh, chromosomes are duplicated and in g2 phase the um, more uh, the, again more amount of rnas rnas and proteins are formed so this is our cell cycle if a question is asked from cell cycle they can ask you the sequence they can ask you the longest phase they can ask you kaha pe duplication hota hai, where rnas and proteins are formed what is the significance of m phase so these are certain questions which can be asked this diagram i have never seen in the paper so oh, there are you know less chances of this diagram to appear in any of the papers so this is it about cell cycle. Let's start with meiosis. Now as and when we talk about meiosis, the basic information about meiosis is already being given to you in, our, in my previous video. Let's see, meiosis take place with just a recapitulation, meiosis take place in the gonads or the reproductive cells, in uh, males, it occurs in testers, in females take place in the ovary, testers leads to formation of sperms, ovary leads to formation of ova, fusion of both are going to form the zygote. This is the crunch. Fine, this is the crunch. Uh -huh. Why meiosis is taking place in the body. Now, as we all know, significance of meiosis I'm talking about. And there is a question which comes that why the gametes or the sperm and ova which is formed, they have half number of chromosomes. We'll discuss that also. So when we talk about meiosis, what are the changes? Or you can say, what is the difference? Or you can say, how is it different from, uh, different from uh, mitosis? During mitosis, there... Um, you know what happened was that um, we'll talk about this in differences so I'll just stick to meiosis first and then we'll take up the differences so we'll talk about meiosis first in meiosis there are two stages it's m1 phase and m2 phase that is meiosis 1 and meiosis Two. Meiosis 1 is a stage which we known as, which is known as reductional phase. 
एंड मियोसिस टू इज अ माइटोटिक फेज और वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज इक्वेशनल फेज क्यों वाई लेट्स टॉक अबाउट और लेट्स सी वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द स्टेजेस ऑफ मियोसिस बिकॉज दे आर नॉट देर इन योर कोर्स वील टॉक अबाउट वाई इज इट सो so let's see if this is a cell which has to undergo uh, meiosis so original cell will have 46 chromosomes it if it is a human cell as and when this whole meiosis completes or ends four cells are formed and each of the cell has 23 23 23 23 and 23 chromosomes not pairs we are not about pairs here just to avoid the fusion it's 46 single chromosome 46 chromosomes and in each of the cells which are formed after meiosis there are half half like 23 23 23 and 23 chromosomes are formed why because if these are sperms and in the, on the other hand this is happening in ova the meiosis taking place in the ova so these are the uh, cells formed or ova formed in the ovary what will happen fusion of these are going to take place leading to formation of the zygote and the zygote should have 46 chromosome inka fusion hoega tabhi 46 chromosomes banenge agar agar during this i'll just make one during this if suppose 46 ke 46 hi reh jate hain yahan pe so this 46 and 46 will become 92 which is some other species so why the process of meiosis is known as reductional division because half the number of chromosomes are there in the daughter cells which are produced and which are responsible for restoration of equal number of chromosomes in the zygote which is formed that is why this is known as reductional division now there is there are two terms which are very important for you to understand this condition is known as a diploid condition इसको हम वी राइट इट एज टू एन ऑल्सो वेन द क्रोमोजोम नंबर आर इक्वल सेम और यू कैन से जितने होने चाहिए उतने ही है एंड वेन द क्रोमोजोम नंबर आर हाफ वी कॉल इट अप्लॉइड स्टेज वेर इन we represent it as n also this is a stage haploids are only gametes always remember hamare body mein head to toe haploid cell sirf ek hi hoenge that is the gametes and these two gametes these two haploids are going to combine together to form 2n which is a normal cell of our body this is the importance or significance of meiosis in the body now meiosis has certain uh, you know uh, certain different traits or characters apart from mitosis kya kya hote hain like for example one during meiosis mm, half number of chromosomes are uh, produced so you can write that haploid cells are produced fine second in this exchange or intermixing of genes take place kyun because during the process of meiosis humne chromosomes banaye the mitosis mein so if this is a chromosome from father and this is a chromosome from mother what will happen during meiosis one what will happen the process of crossing over take place and how does it occur aise this is guys meta formation let's a solid make a chromosome shaded to just see the difference ये हम इसको शेड कर देते हैं एंड दिस वन इज अलो वन फाइन सो रिजल्ट जब हमारे पास आएगा इस क्रोमोजोम के क्रॉसिंग का व्हाट विल वी गेट विल गेट टू क्रोमोजोम्स जिसमें ये वाला पार्ट विल बी शेडेड बिकॉज दिस वाज अ शेडेड वन और इसमें ये वाला विल बी अनशेडेड बिकॉज यहां पे एट दिस पॉइंट क्रॉसिंग ओवर हैज टेकिंग टेकन प्लेस सो दिस इज इंटरमिक्सिंग और एक्सचेंज ऑफ मेटीरियल ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ मियोसिस सो वेरिएशन आर प्रोड्यूस्ड That's why you do not resemble your parents 100%. परसेंट जैसा पापा दिखते हैं वैसे बिल्कुल नहीं दिखते आप एकदम पूरा नहीं दिखते ना देर आर सर्टन चेंजेस सो दिस हैपन्स ड्यू टू दिस मिक्सिंग अप बिकॉज हाफ द कैरेक्टर्स यू गेट फ्रॉम योर मॉम एंड हाफ यू गेट फ्रॉम योर फादर सो दैट इज वाई 
this process of meiosis is of utmost importance let's now see what are the differences between meiosis and mitosis hope this till here is clear to everyone we'll be talking about the differences between mitosis and meiosis if you have seen my previous video you can easily write before me telling you you can easily write the differences let's see in mitosis two cells or daughter cells are formed in meiosis four in mitosis there is only one cycle one cycle in meiosis there are two m1 and m2 then in mitosis diploid cells are formed matla the daughter cells which are formed they have 46 chromosomes only they don't have 23 in case of meiosis haploid cells are formed that means the daughter cells which are formed they have 23 chromosomes they don't have 46 mitosis take place in somatic cells meiosis take place in germ cells you can say or you can say gonads fine then mitosis is an equational division why do we call it equational because 46 chromosomes were in parents daughters also have 46 and meiosis is a reductional division why do we call it reductional because here in half number of chromosomes are there mitosis there is no mixing up of genes no mixing of genes in meiosis mixing of genes occur fine let's see once again two daughter cells four daughter cells one cycle two cycles m1 m2 mitosis diploid cells are formed meiosis haploid mitosis occurs in somatic cells meiosis in germ cells mitosis an equational division meiosis is a reductional division mitosis no mixing up of genes takes place meiosis mixing up of genes take place so this was all about chapter cell division and cell cycle in our next video we will we'll take up the topic structure of chromosomes we'll talk about in detail how the structure of chromosome is formed very important topic from board point of view so please keep watching, liking, sharing and subscribing. Thank you.